Hello, and thank you for attending Chicago White Metals webinar on the environmental advantages of die casting over plastics. My name is John Miller, and I've been in this industry for many years where I've held a number of roles. I joined Chicago White Metal Casting in 2010, where I serve as the Vice President of Sales and Marketing. I'll be blunt. The purpose of this presentation is to expose the myth about plastic being recycled and to encourage you to consider using metal die castings instead of injection molded plastics. Along the way, I'll discuss and compare some facts about plastics, some facts about metal die castings, the alloys used for die casting and their basic properties, and provide some suggested solutions. First, let's discuss the myth that says plastic is recycled. All of us have grown accustomed to seeing the recycling logo on plastic materials. It might make us feel good to think that these items will be recycled. Unfortunately, it is rarely true. Instead, because of the cost of recycling, it's actually cheaper to dump plastics into landfills or send it off to faraway third world countries where it often ends up in our oceans or in mounds of open piles of landfill garbage. Only 9% of the plastic we've ever produced is recycled and we continue to produce far more plastic materials than are recycled annually. Millions of tons of microplastics litter the ocean floor and huge islands of plastic, including one that is twice the size of Texas, float atop our oceans, wash up on beaches, doing damage to our tourist sites, birds, animals, marine life, etc. 500 billion plastic bags each year. That is more than 1 million every minute. Consider these facts. Humans have produced more plastic over the last 10 years than during the whole of the previous century. Over 1 million plastic bottles are bought around the world every minute, and that number is rising. Roughly half the world's plastic is used just once, like plastic straws or plastic bags from the grocery store. We continue to produce far more plastic than is recycled. Don't be fooled. If you are designing or purchasing plastic parts for your application, chances are you are adding to this global environmental problem. It takes about 450 years for just one piece of plastic to break down. 11% of household waste is plastic, 40% of which is plastic bottles. Plastic waste kills as many as a million sea creatures annually. The average American consumes at least a teaspoon of plastic a week through food, roughly the amount of a credit card. We are overproducing at an astonishingly high level, and there are no signs of it slowing down anytime soon. Imagine what our planet will look like in another 50 years if we keep this up. Meanwhile, die cast metals like aluminum, zinc, or magnesium, possess excellent recycling potential. In fact, more than 85% of the aluminum used in a car is currently reclaimed and recycled, while much of the plastic in a scrap vehicle is treated as fluff and sent to a waste dump. Die-cast alloys are produced from 100% recycled material and all excess metal from the process is recycled. Die casting materials are not hazardous waste and they pose no problems in handling or in reprocessing. Die casting is an energy efficient, cost effective, very repeatable process. Die castings provide excellent mechanical properties having considerably more strength, stiffness, and overall durability than typical plastics. 
Die castings provide inherent thermal conductivity, electromagnetic and radio frequency shielding. Die casting properties do not degrade over time with temperature or UV or other exposure common to plastics. Die castings can have ASCAST external threads or internal threads, which are machined directly into the cast holes, eliminating the inserts that are typically needed in plastics. Self-tapping screws are commonly used with die castings. Die castings can be finished or decorated in a variety of ways, including conversion coating, anodizing, painting, or plating. There are three major families of die cast metals. Each has its set of advantages that make it the right choice for a given application. Aluminum, it's the most commonly die cast metal. It has a good mix of mechanical and physical properties. It can be finished with a wide variety of readily available coatings and finishes. And it has a well-developed reclaim and recycling infrastructure. Magnesium, it's the lightest structural metal at roughly a quarter of the weight of zinc or steel and about the same weight as most plastics. It offers the highest strength to weight ratio of any metal. Magnesium's mechanical properties are comparable with aluminum, but at one third less weight, which is essentially the weight of most plastics. Magnesium offers good tool life, perhaps two to three times that of aluminum. Zinc offers some very nice advantages. It's the most castable die casting material, which allows it to be cast with either very thin or very thick walls and with minimal draft angles. Zinc provides incredibly good tool life. It offers excellent surface finish which is good for plating and decorative coatings and is an extremely cost-efficient metal to use for small parts. So, what is my point? We all need to do our part to reconsider our use of plastics. And there are solutions. First, we need to change our attitude. Manufacturers and OEMs can do their part to actively promote the use of more environmentally friendly alternatives, such as metals, and disassociate themselves from plastics. It's a way of being a responsible corporate citizen with an environmentally friendly conscience. Also, there needs to be legal and financial incentives. Some countries are considering holding OEMs responsible for the cradle-to-grave cost of their products, which could mean fines or taxes if materials are not recycled efficiently. Many states and local governments offer tax incentives to spur increased recycling or the use of more environmentally friendly materials. Governments are also banning single-use plastics and mandating greater use of recycled content. And there needs to be recycling process improvements. The plastics industry is looking into the possible use of chemicals or engineered enzymes to break down plastics so that they don't end up in a landfill or ocean. And improved recycling methods via robots, cameras, sensors, etc., using artificial intelligence can help reduce the cost of identifying and separating plastics from other materials and can make the overall recycling process more viable. The path forward. The best solution is to simply stop using plastics, but that's not realistic. Still, OEMs can design their products with more environmentally friendly materials, like metal die casting. Chicago White Metal is well equipped to help OEMs convert their existing plastic designs or develop new designs utilizing aluminum, magnesium, or zinc die castings. 
Chicago White Metal Casting is doing our part to make sure all of the materials we use are recycled. We have banned the use of single-use plastics from our plant, and we have worked with our recyclers to make sure that all of the materials we send them are properly recycled. We are proud to be doing our part, and we are well positioned to help you do your part by offering our metal die casting process for consideration on your next project. Please contact us for a free consultation and or a quotation today. Thank you. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page if you want to see more content like this.